Hello, this is Chris Nelson from EvolveConsciousness.org. I'll be reading a short little post published on the 7th of August, 2014, entitled Good and Evil Confusion. This is a little part on good and evil that I had in my short posts that I should have put with my main work as it relates to um, that development of good and evil that I was doing for a month or two, and it's all around the same time. But they were published, well, August, September, October. I had a lot of work on falsity and truth and good and evil done. And this is a related little post to begin. Here is what some New Agers can come to accept as a conception of the universe, reality, and, quote, God. So this is from a page, uh, False Light Constructs by Greg Calise, that says, the majority of the gigantic cosmos is organic light, and the residents live in relative goodness. Which is belief as far as I'm concerned. You're going to believe that? You have no ostensible proof? So go ahead and believe whatever you want. Anyways, that's why I call them a New Ager, because they are. The creator of the universe creates and presides over the organic structure and allows the false light constructs to exist. He, she is completely un in control of this entire drama that we find ourselves in. So here's a, a moron who has been fed impositions of conceptions and they never really take the time to doubt, question, and be curious about these inducted general universal ideas which are bullshit anyways. So they just gobble them up and accept them, and then they regurgitate them as though they were truth. And for them, well, they're not lying because they're being honest about the falsity they've accepted as truth. So as far as they're controlled, they're just regurgitating the truth. But it's not. It's bullshit. And I'll demonstrate we prove it. Even before I get into my article, I'll just write a... Even before I get into the post, I'll just make a little critique here. So, first of all, you're assuming things... The, the giant cosmos, it's organic light, whatever the fuck that means, you stupid idiot. Organic light. Give me a break. And then residents live there in relative goodness. Oh, and then there's the creator of the universe presides over all organic structures and allows false light constructs, which is uh, deceptions and stuff and whatever, because he, she is completely in control of the entire drama, and that's where it's obviously false, because God is not in control of anything. God is the first prime cause that sets things in motion, and after they're in motion, you know what takes over? Law. Law. And then in that creation, then there are free will causal agents that start from animals, lower order consciousness beings, and then progress to apparently what we have as allegedly the higher order consciousness beings capable of creating great amounts of evil or great amounts of good. Much more in a in infinitely greater capacity than any other lower order animal living in amoral consciousness. So we can create great amounts of immorality or great amounts of morality. This person thinks God is in control of everything, also it's complete determinism. Idiots. God doesn't control a single thing here. Not one thing. The people who do evil are people who do evil. And the only ones that stop the people who do evil are the people who are going to stop the people from doing evil. God is not involved here. God is not an anthropom anthropomorphized humanistic being. It didn't create the drama. It created things that operated according to laws that developed and created emergent properties and characteristics and forms afterwards as things evolved. God does not involve in anything. If you take some time, however much time you want, maybe you're a religionist and you're brainwashed into how God is uh, all this anthropomorphized bullshit conceptions and false beliefs you have. Well, take some time, days, weeks, or years, and reevaluate the bullshit you've bought into. So there is truth and falsity encoded in this belief. The first sentence has some truth about goodness, but then they proceeded to mix understandings. So yeah, there are relative degrees of goodness, the dualistic conceptual framework. Where we're living in, you know, some people are doing more good, some people are doing more bad, so it's relative degrees of goodness. But then they proceed to mix understandings. The creator created, and then lets that which is set in motion 
continue in motion. The creator set laws to guide the evolution, change, growth of the construct system. That's all. You set laws, and that's it. You set it in motion, you put laws, and then there you go. Go, go, universe, run. God isn't making things happen. It's not, oh, I'm, he's in control and he's pulling levers and whatever imaginations you can have. He doesn't get involved. There's no involvement. God doesn't pick sides. It doesn't favor. You created evil as an aggregate species. You, as an aggregate species, need to correct your creation of evil. And that is karma. If you don't want to correct it, well, enjoy your stagnation and entropy into your own self-destruction. That's karma. And if you want to develop the self-responsibility to evolve and heal yourself and others, well, then that's karma too. You do it to yourself in the aggregate. To continue, the creator allows that which is created afterwards to exist. If causal agents choose to create evil, then their free will allows them to do so. The creator is not in control of evil or allowing it to exist because it allegedly controls everything. No, the creator allows evil to exist because the creator is not even in control to stop it from being created. So yeah, you want to look at it as it allows evil to be created? Sure, it allows evil to exist. It's not creating it. They are not in control. They don't control it. We are the free will causal agents, and if we want to create evil, then we will create evil. The controller is not in control of anything. The system, this system was created and then set in motion. It is out of, quote, his hands. It does not arbitrarily interfere. This is a false conception. We create evil, not some other force. Which is what allowed me to understand how natural law isn't a force that does anything against us, as we do it to ourselves. You reap what you sow. You do it all to yourself in an aggregate. As a collective human species, we do it to ourselves and in minor capacities in our own uh, limited spheres of interaction with other people. Yes, we do create our own suffering in many ways. Not in every way. You can have someone rape you or murder you. It's not like you created that for yourself. But in an aggregate, by allowing evil to exist and continue to perpetuate through your ignorance of evil and allowing it to continue, that's what happens. Is You end up getting harmed even though you did no harm because you're ignoring your collective aggregate species, human sphere responsibility, and, and to embody true care and have agape universal care to help the human species and all other beings by targeting the root causal factor. You don't get that, so guess what? You end up getting shit done to you. Even though you didn't do anything to that person, they harm you. Because they exist as an aggregate failure of humanity to remove evil, and then evil gets perpetuated in different degrees and minor uh, levels and greater levels and, and you have all the diversity and multiplicity and variability of evil and good itself within the multiplicity, variability and diversity of everything in existence. We create evil, not some other force. We allow it to continue, not some other force. We are in control of our own lives, not some other force. We either live right and get right or we live wrong and get wrong. The other force is a law that gives us back what we put out. Cause and effect. It's not, it doesn't even give us back what we put out. It's, we get back what we put out ourselves. It's not a force doing it. Cause and effect. It's us doing it to ourselves. And there's other forces in play and other factors, sure. I'm not talking about everything in the universe. I'm talking about how we create evil and we do it to ourselves in the end because we don't stop evil so it just keeps perpetuating and then eventually it comes knocking at our door so when we had the opportunity to stand in truth we didn't stand in truth because we're cowards because it wasn't personal only when it's personal and it affects me my satanic uh, my survival my freedom and my truth well then it matters to me and then I expect other people to help me so to continue it does not decide does not decide that evil must exist or that evil is created by it. We do it all ourselves. We, the causal agents, are the ones who can stop other causal agents. Those who act in violation of the universal cosmic will, i.e. universal cosmic natural moral law, are going against the will of creation, which is not to allow evil as part of an alleged necessity as many falsely believe. 
we do not choose to incarnate to experience all good or evil, or everything as equal and of, of the same value. If anything, we choose to reincarnate to put an end to evil. The Creator did not choose to create evil into existence. So this is the whole, you know, belief that, oh, I chose to incarnate for a specific purpose. No, it's the true self chooses to incarnate as a true self, as a transcendental aspect of truth, love, good, right, morality, natural law, to actualize the transcendental being into an aspect of particularized being, so from the universal being to the particular being, and then work to end evil as a particular being. So we, as an ego personality identity construct, we don't have individual purposes or to experience things, and things are equal, all experiences are equal and have the same variable. Oh, we got to experience good and evil. Oh, you're, you're, you're in duality. You're, 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 you're judging. All this stupid, retarded, pseudo spiritual, new age garbage. So the true self reincarnates with the purpose to live in truth, not falsity. Hence, to live in good and not evil. Hence, when evil exists, the true self's purpose is to end evil. That is all of our purposes. Our true purpose, all of us collectively, that's our purpose. And then you have individual desires and individual inclinations and individual things. Well, I'm not talking about the individual bullshit, the personal bullshit. I'm talking about the true self of who we are in a higher aspect. Not as, oh, well, I'm going to come back if you kill me, and, oh, my purpose was to end evil. It's not my, my, my. It's, it's our. The true self is one. It's all of us. Our purpose, all of our purpose, is to end evil. Whether you understand it or not. That's why you want to evolve consciousness. You want to become a true self. Seek truth and morality. See, everything I talk about, it all corresponds back on itself. Everything connects and creates a big picture, big pattern, holistic understanding. So I'm trying to get all these pieces out for everyone else to understand what I understand, but it'll take time, but eventually I'll get there. Only confused minds, desperately grasping for a resolution to contradictions in their conceptual framework, frameworks come up with that excuse and justification that oh god made it all happen and he's in control of creating good and evil bullshit the creator allows anything it does not expressly want or desire both spectrum both spectrums of good and evil to be experienced experienced people fail to understand these distinctions it allows us to go off rail and freely choose the left hand path the left hand path of chaos, eris, esfet, isfet, I mean, and feel the consequences to our actions that violate natural law, higher will, morality, truth, etc. That is how we can, can potentially, not obligatory, but can learn to willingly choose the right hand path of order, ma'at, isis, truth, natural law, morality, right, good, higher will, higher self, true self. We create evil. Suffering minds create evil. Us, not, quote, God. Man's rule of law is only a fiction of the mind, an illusion many people believe in that they think keeps them safe while it actually keeps them enslaved. But the appearance of order we all accept as real is only available for the few privileged areas, while most people have man's will ruling over them in a much more negative way. Our alignment with the higher will of natural law allows us to act as natural law causal agents and stop the violations against the higher will of natural law. We can all be natural law causal agents of reciprocity. So, that's about it. I'll leave it there and go do some more audios. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time and attention. Have a nice day. Take care. Peace.